and welcome to my channel. So today we are doing the part two to the dandelion fizz that we started about a month ago. So it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. It was only supposed to take a couple of weeks, but uh, it, it took longer. So yeah, that happened. We had a bit of a cold spell. So I've already got my hydrometer in here and it is reading one. So we have the 5.56% alcohol that we were after. It was in the range of what I was wanting this to be. So uh, I'm gonna pour some off once I take out the hydrometer. Come on, hydrometer. Fortunately, everything has been sterilized, including my hands, because uh, I was using bleach. So it's my work top. So let's pour some out and let's give it a go. Bad practice here, but at the same time, it's fine. We've got to try it to see if it needs sweetening or what we need to do to it before we bottle it, so cheers. So, hmm, it is dry currently. It does have a bit of a floral taste, but not a lot. But since this is supposed to be a sparkling, kind of quick drinking thing, I've got some sweetener. So I'm using my sucralose-based sweetener. Yeah, if it is sucralose, check me. And I'm gonna add a bit of sweetness to this, even though it doesn't have the sparkle yet, because we don't want this to ferment away. swirl cheers Ooh. so it's starting to bring out the floral flavor Ooh, that is quite nice uh, this is a half a teaspoon measurement because I wasn't quite sure so one teaspoon give it a swirl Cheers again. Oh, that's the ticket. That is kind of sweet spot. So because I took the extra time to move as much of that green stuff uh, as possible, because that has the bitter sap in it, this doesn't have a bitter taste. It's got a floral flavor. It's kind of nice. I mean, it, it is nice. Even though it's flat and it's supposed to be sparkly. It's quite drinkable right now, even though it's still got a little bit of the yeast in there. That's nice. So what I'm going to be doing is bottling it up there, bottling it up in these little plastic bottles. Uh, these are 330 ml bottles, perfect for a, a nice little glass to make it all sparkly. The reason that I'm going for plastic over glass is that I can actually give it a, a squeeze and know when to put these in the fridge. It's really easy to do it in plastic. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's get on with this. So I have finished sterilizing and rinsing everything. So it's now time to get these bottles primed. Oh yes. So considering that I gave it a taste in here, that is nice. Ooh, cheeky. I'm going to be using two teaspoons per bottle. of sweetener. And then, because I want it fizzy, I'm going to be using half a teaspoon, which is approximately two grams of sugar. And in the funnel that goes. Now you can add it before or after, but uh, I'm doing it before for a change because, well, I can. So I'm going to continue doing this until these are all done. See you shortly. Oh, I'll destroy the place first. <laughs> so all of my bottles are prepped and primed and ready to go. Um, it didn't take that long, funny enough. And you may be wondering how many of these bottles do I have? Now I have 13, which is unlucky for some, but it should give me four liters of the finest, purest stuff without getting near the bottom. The last little bit, I have another sterilized bottle uh, that I can put it in and I can drink it at my pleasure because that's half the fun of homebrewing. So I'm gonna make my cheeky siphon. I forgot my brewing peg again. Be right back. Brewing peg. Now, if you buy an official siphoning kit thing, you don't have to worry about that. Just like 
I put a slither of actual silver in there because I happen to have some left over. But it just keeps it nice and straight. And I can just put it roughly where I want. And stick my peg on. And I don't have to try and do all that stuff. So just a handy tip. So now I'm just going to make my siphon. Once I unravel it, there we go. Siphon tube. Now, you may be wondering, like, it's unhygienic, you'll get infected. Nope, because the liquid never touches the outside of the tube. There we go. So I have 13 of these bottles to fill, and uh, I'll be back once I've done them. So my bottles have been filled. My 330 ml bottles I topped up to the top, so that's about 340 ml per bottle. That brings us up to about four and a half liters with this much left over, which is just mainly yeasty crust of doom. And you don't want that bit. That, that bit, well, yeah, that's nasty. So now we've got these in our bottles, we're gonna give them a shake just to make sure the sugars. Oh, okay, I'm gonna close the lids properly. <laughs> Ah, it's fine, I just cover myself in booze. I love it. So now the lids are closed properly, I'm gonna give them a shake and I'm gonna check each one. And this will dissolve in the sugar. Now I haven't degassed these because they're gonna be sparkling, so there's no point degassing it. Just adds that little bit of extra fizz. So I'm gonna go through and clean up uh, my laptop screen and stuff. Once I've shaken all these up. I'll see you once I've done that. In booze. So every single one has been shaken and the sugar in here has been dissolved because solid particles of sugar are so concentrated that they actually kill yeast. Who knew? So every single cap wasn't tightened down completely uh, so what's well, a good thing that I did that step. So uh, five liters of dandelion champagne made four and a half liters once finished which is pretty cool. If I'd made it in a proper demijohn, I would have got less. I would have probably got four liters. Uh, there's a bit that I spilled, there's a bit I drank, and these were added up very slightly, so, and some waste. So, that's why I like the five liter containers. They actually give you the equivalent of six bottles of wine. It's pretty handy. So, I'm gonna leave this now for about a week and a half, or until these plastic bottles are firm. It's the great thing about using plastic over glass, you can tell when it's ready, unlike a glass bottle where you could, yeah, not, and potentially explode. <gasps> it won't, there's not enough sugar, but it could if you didn't know what you were doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, like, check out the other videos, and of course, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Carry on homebrewing. It's really nice, just as it is.